there are about 100,000 local domains. And by the way, it's not damping, it's a regular price here. Less like 0.1% of people using domains here. Local people prefer to work with local people. Standard payment gateway for Pakistan. Hi, shared hosting and website builder in Pakistan. So, Pakistan, 240 million of people. So it's like half in Europe. And internet penetration is about 30%. Technically, it looks like internet penetration, you know, like in uh, Europe, usually you have like 100 megabits or like in Saudi, you have like 1 GB online traffic or mobile traffic. But here is uh, internet is very bad. So if you buy card abroad and use it here, connection could be very bad or very good. So in some areas you need to switch your provider. So there are no, no internet culture in this country. So like only 30% of people connected, but technically lots of them use really very bad internet connection. So regarding local domain names, there are about 100,000 local domains like .pk, .pk and, uh, and there are lots of uh, like second level domains like com, .pk, .net, .pk, like, uh, like golf, Edo and something like this. But of course, uh, .pk is most, most popular and here is most popular is .com. Why? I have no idea. Possibly local registry came to the market a little bit later. But .com is very popular, very easy to use, very cheap to buy and, uh, and just, uh, just popular. And by the way, local uh, domain in registry cost about $5, so to the end customer it comes about $10, like 3,000 rupees by, the, by now. And uh, if local domain sells to foregans or through uh, foregan uh, registrars, uh, price comes from like 15 self cost to 30, so end customer gets for 30. So if you're local, you buy usually for about 3,000 rupees like $10 if you're living outside, you'll buy the same domain for $30. That's a little bit stupid, but at the same time, it somehow protect economy. Yeah. What regarding hosting? Hosting here is very, very cheap. Something similar to India, something similar to Sri Lanka, because similar car culture people, something similar to Bangladesh. So hosting usually takes like one, two dollars per month. So if you buy an old package, it costs like twenty dollars, ten, twenty dollars. If it's a bigger package, but it's starting from ten dollars. So it's, and by the way, it's not damping. It's a regular price here. So as we know, domain it in this country is about 1.5. So it's like less, like 0.1% of people using domains here. You can see on daily basis because lots of people still have no websites and they still have no social. Of course, they like use WhatsApp, but like regular like Facebook, Instagram, it's too, it's not developed here as um, not many people connect to the web. And as I said, speed is really very low. And by the way, hosting companies here are very small. So usually very small and like it's design studios and they visit, let's say, dozen of them, like 80% of them, they just unknown the address, but technically they are not here. So they just, you know, one day company, they rise up, register some address, they, then they switch, they, they have a, like too tiny or too lazy, to just have a, to update address on their website. Uh, of course, Urdu is the primary language here. English is maybe secondary. And by, by the way, English is business language and everybody like uh, in the business area or in the internet area talks English, but still support is in two languages. Uh, as I said, the market is price sensitive. So people really focus on the price. I was in one museum where the entrance was like seven cents, seven American cents. So you can imagine like PayPal, the minimum transaction costs like 30, 40 cents when here manually people col collect and provide tickets for like seven cents. So it's really incredible. Okay, so as I see just my personal opinion, 
the local people prefer to work with local people. I don't know. So it's many Indian brands are popular here. Maybe because India is also big and cheap. Uh, they provide like the country is big and provide cheap solutions. Uh, cheap is not always bad solutions, but just it's according to the price. And possibly people from Pakistan acquire this, uh, not acquire like using these solutions. But uh, but Indian uh, solutions are quite popular here. Regarding payment gateways, oh my God, there are lots of them. As we get lots of payments from Pakistan, usually of course we're getting we like how we collect money like PayPal, Stripe and uh, Paysera, but uh, as I see local payment providers and talk to them, like PayFast, PayPal, Bank Deposit, Faster Pay Cards, Easy Payza, Omni, Mobi, Mobi Cash, sorry, UBL, Payza, Perfect Money, like, like, uh, like plenty of them. Uh, which one is most popular? I don't know, when country is big and no statistics, every registry do not provide statistics on their website about domain, so regarding payment gateways, you should understand these are no real statistics, but I just said like there are plenty of them, and uh, usually, usually banks, uh, Islamic banks work with Islamic cards, and uh, if you are not Islamic bank, sorry, if you have like non-Islamic uh, card, so Islamic bank doesn't uh, provide you any help, and uh, so it's still tricky, so people are flexible, but there are no standard payment gateway for Pakistan. So if I talk uh, about uh, cloud on-premises, I would choose on-premises uh, here just because speed is slow and something local could be good. But if you say that from the stability point of view, cloud could be very nice just because, uh, just because um, it will be more more stable, maybe slower but stable. So it could be both could be um, cost could be nice. Regarding website builders, so market is still rising. People are still using web web agencies and uh, agencies are not rich. People try to save, so I think it would be a very nice solution here. So some Indian brands are here, are here, of course, uh, because people use control panels, some website builders come together with control panels. That is bad for us, but uh, maybe good for us because we also have lots of good partnerships. But so there are two ways how builders come here, three ways maybe. One way is uh, come with control panel, so it's lazy and usually people do not sell these uh, website builders. Second one, it's coming from India just because just cheap, as I said, uh, cheap and nearby. And third one is Site Pro because, you know, it's really the best, you know. And about life hacks. By the way, Pakistan people really are like good affiliators. If you go affiliate forums, uh, people from India, from Pakistan, they usually like work hard and uh, work with traffic. So our website builder is really popular, popular here. So people copy websites and uh, buy subscriptions so like they copy website change buttons and sell the traffic so really from people from Pakistan love this feature and regarding uh, uh, regarding uh, regular website builder we would like to be better here like Pakistan is like half in Europe of course bad internet connection of course people are not so rich but uh, it's still huge opportunities and like small percentage like if like two percent more people use uh, internet will start using internet here and we, we understand that everybody will use it it's still bigger than my country like one or two percent of pakistani people it's like bigger than like my country and my neighbor country together so regarding life hacks we start working with we sorry start we continue working with funnels and with like product analytics and we see some tests and some changes. So once you see like customer register, like choose plan, start using, then upgrade, blah, 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 blah. And if you go like through 20 steps, how he is going, how he choose template, what, you still see a lot of opportunities. We did lots of tests. We changed your funnels with like sell first and we provide free first and we provide trial first and we like 
uh, test and pay or test for limited time and like lots of lots of things and really every time getting some increase uh, find some errors and once we track once we track all, all these users like uh, CGM um, journey map and we see each step we see how we lose money on every step we upgrade our analytics and uh, it re and it really provides money and I think we like this month we'll have like about I think 20-25% growth of MRR that is usually insane for hosting market yeah and about fail in this country also I came here I was at north at mountains I was like in main cities and the problem here is like Friday is like Muslims, you know, they do not work on Friday, but technically they should work as it's like business day for for everybody. Saturday, Sunday, so like they usually if you work with, with uh, countries that are uh, Islamic countries, usually they have three holidays. It's like Saturday is always usually holidays. Sunday could work or could not. Friday could work or could not. Now I'm like Monday and like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, sorry, one day, Tuesday, Wednesday, they they have official holidays, so technically they do not work one week. In Europe, it could be like, I don't know, I don't know, Christmas or something, like, <laughs> like, nobody works for one week, but here it's okay, it's like, you know, everybody's happy. And uh, and they, when they try to appoint meetings, like, people are really motivated, like, they reply, let's meet, but when you try to do real meeting, I don't know, something, something happening, I, I don't know. I still still um, didn't understand everything see you on the next video